Hello, good afternoon guys, welcome back. I hope you're all having a really lovely day. So I'm really excited to be filming and creating this video for you guys today. I hope you love it. Pretty much it is going to be a pack with me video. We're leaving for Thailand tomorrow. We're gonna to be away for two and a half weeks. So I thought I would create a packing video of all the outfits I'm planning on bringing with me and wearing while I'm in Thailand. So this is a super casual style video and something that I've never really filmed before, but I wanted to show you guys my process when I'm creating outfits and just all the things that I think about before I decide to go with a look. I also find taking photos of each outfit and planning them in this way makes traveling and getting dressed each day when you're away so much more enjoyable. Instead of staring at an overflowing suitcase each morning, I will just scan through the photos on my phone of each outfit to help me decide what I want to wear. So the first outfit I wanted to decide on was a wedding guest outfit. As we are going to a wedding this weekend when we first arrived the color scheme for the wedding is pastel i don't have a lot of pastel dresses in my wardrobe but i have these two options and i'm kind of just considering here i knew i wanted to wear my new Mew Mew bag and shoes especially as they pair so well with lighter colors so i'll be keeping the accessories the same for either dress option i really couldn't decide between these two dresses they both went really well with the accessories and had a similar feel to them the wedding is going to be in Khao Yai in thailand and i think either option would work really great but you guys let me know what you think. I will have some time to work this out when I get there and I'm probably gonna pack both as I think I'll end up wearing both of them. So next up, we are packing for quite a few different occasions, places and vibes. So I need to create a bunch of city style outfits that will work well for Bangkok and also for Chiang Mai. So comfortable shoes and clothes are obviously a necessity as always. It is also the middle of summer in Thailand right now. So the weather is super humid and unbelievably hot during the day. So outfits need to be cool, but I still want them to feel like me. I always turn to cropped black shorts like these ones in hot weather. I don't really wear super short denim cutoffs anymore, but these jean cutoff style ones are perfect and they also align really well with my personal style. And I was so excited as this was the first outfit I created and I really loved it. Next up, I played around with this top. It was a gift from Oak and Fort. And although I really liked it when I saw it online, I couldn't quite work out how to style it for such hot weather. There was too much material when I tucked it into the shorts, so I decided to try it with a skirt instead. But I will be coming back to the shorts though, as I am trying to make sure each bottom option has at least two top options that I can style it with during this trip. This is obviously to help with suitcase space and also avoid carrying around heaps of different outfits that I don't even end up wearing. So I tried it on with a little black skirt that I knew I would definitely be packing for this trip, but again, couldn't quite style it in a way that felt like me. Tucked in just felt too styled and when untucked, the top felt too long. I think this top would probably work better with jeans or trousers and instead I decided to leave it and move on to a different top option with this skirt. So firstly, I started with this little black cami from St. Agni. I haven't had a chance to wear this top yet as I only just got it and it is the middle of winter here in Australia, as you guys know, but I loved it styled with this black skirt, even though the cami is quite long because it sits looser down the bottom. I think it flows really well and I love this fit a lot. And I haven't yet added a brown bag to my Thailand wardrobe, so I decided to go with this one from Celine. I adore this bag and it also helps break up the black and I think will also pair really well with some of the outfits that I have in mind too. This next outfit is just cute and simple. I swapped the black cami for a white linen vest and swapped the brown Celine bag for the Le Mer croissant bag. This is the kind of outfit I intend to wear on a chill morning in either Bangkok or Chiang Mai. It's perfect for traveling around, seeing friends, going for lunch, that kind of thing. And the next one is honestly just a slightly dressier variation of the last one. I think you could wear this outfit on a chill night in Thailand too. I kept the skirt the same, swapped the vest for this cute white lace top and the Lemaire bag for my Miu Miu one, which instantly just makes the outfit feel a little bit more dressed up. I knew I wanted to style this Acne Studio skirt for this trip. I bought it recently and I really love it. So I definitely wanted to bring it with me. I had a few options in my wardrobe that I thought would work well, but decided to start with this black vest, which is from Cos. I wanted the outfit to feel a little bit more masculine as I often have days where I don't want to look too girly So I swapped the sandals for my low Doc Martens and black socks This outfit would be perfect for a shopping day as these shoes are so comfortable for me as I've worn them in so much And the outfit just feels perfect for a day out at the mall or a market that kind of thing I wanted to create at least one more outfit with this skirt as I knew I could easily throw it on whilst I was in the city 
So I started with this mint green top from Row Frames, which I love, but was sort of struggling with the length of the top a bit. I wanted it to feel relaxed and tucked in was just too styled, but when untucked, there was just a bit too much material. So some days in Thailand, if you're inside a lot, like at the shopping centers and stuff, even though it's so hot outside, it's kind of cold inside because of the aircon and everything. So I thought maybe a loose, thin cardigan would work really well with this outfit. And if it was the right length, it could also help bring the look together and resolve the longer top dilemma. This crochet one from the open product was perfect. Next up, I really wanted to style this skirt that I found in my mum's wardrobe. I haven't even tried it on before, so I wasn't really sure what it would work with. Initially, I tried it on with a simple white singlet, but this for some reason just felt a little bit too corporate, even though it really isn't a corporate outfit at all. I don't know, it just it wasn't working for me. So to alleviate that entirely, I decided a cropped top would actually work a lot better. I went with this little black cardigan style crop top, which I also haven't had a chance to wear yet, hence the tag. And I actually loved these two pieces together with the Doc Martens as well. It felt quite masculine, but still very me. And yeah, I just cannot wait to wear this outfit. I love it. I also wanted to try on this top with a few different bottom options to see whether it would work for a few different outfits. Firstly, I styled it with black shorts and thought this looked really cute, but I did prefer it with the skirt from the last outfit. Then I also wanted to try it with some white baggy jeans. I have had these ones from Naked for ages and I love them, so I tried styling it with these. At this point, I decided I also wanted a bag option that has some color to it, so I brought in this greeny blue one. The bag is perfect for a day out as it actually fits quite a lot as well, and I styled the look with white Reebok sneakers. This outfit was cute, but I just, I don't know, I wasn't stalled on it. So I ended up packing the white jeans and the bag, but I didn't pack the sneakers. So I think when I'm actually wearing this outfit, I'll probably style it with either the black sandals or the Doc Martens that you guys already saw. Then I needed a little break. So I went and grabbed a tea with my mom and then got back into it. I was kind of getting tired at this point and running out of outfit ideas. But the next part of the trip that I'm packing for is also Phuket. We'll be spending five days by the beach. So I wanted to have a few casual, comfortable outfits outfits. You know the kind of outfits that you chuck on over bathers and wear to read by the pool. So I started with these pastel green shorts from Pangaea. They are so comfortable and easy to wear. I styled them with a terry towel shirt which is perfect for pool slash beach days and I also added in my favorite brown sandals. I got them from St. Agni I think one or two summers ago now. They're so comfortable and they go with literally so many outfits that I've got in my wardrobe. I also packed a simple white tote bag with me to carry my towel and my book and my laptop and whatever else I might need on a beach pool day. Next up, I swapped the Terry Towel shirt for an oversized linen Uniqlo one. I have this in a size large in case you're wondering and also some linen shorts. I played around with the bag a little bit here but I ended up landing on the brown Celine bag as it matched the sandals perfectly. This outfit is like the ultimate walking on the beach, hanging by the pool, eating mango sticky rice outfit. I literally just cannot wait to wear it. I also packed this little black knitted top from Cos as it paired super well with the white shorts and the sandals. I think any of the bags I've packed would work with this outfit as it's, you know, very simple, but I liked it with the green bag for a pop of color. Every holiday calls for a little black dress and my favorite little black linen dress is definitely this one. I threw on an oversized thin white shirt and my Mimi bag to make it feel a little bit more elevated, but I could definitely style this look with the white tote bag or the La Mer bag for something a little bit more dressed down too. I then decided that I really wanted to pack this light blue shirt for a bit of variation from the white shirts, but I was struggling to make it work with some of the outfits that I tried it on with. With this dress, it was obviously just too similar to the last outfit, so I kind of ditched that idea. And then I tried it on with some trouser style blue shorts, but I don't know, I just couldn't really make this work either. I think the shirt was too structured or something, but it just wasn't really working. So I then decided it might look cool with more of a slip style dress. I haven't worn this one yet, but it is from the brand Sleeping With Jax, and it is such a beautiful white lace and silk piece. It can be worn out or for bed, but I think in the way that I've styled it, it is fine to wear it out. So I had to pack at least one Realization Pa dress for the beach. I love this one as it breaks up all the neutral colors in my Thailand wardrobe and also will pair really well with either black or brown accessories that I have already packed. I wore this dress a lot earlier in the year in Noosa. It is super comfortable and looks put together with very minimal effort. After this, I tried on this beautiful new dress that I recently got in from Matteo. I really loved this dress when I saw it online and I do love it in real life too. However, I found the sizing was a little bit too big. I think for the right occasion, it 
probably wouldn't matter that it's a bit oversized, but given how hot Thailand is right now, I think just all the extra material would end up being really uncomfortable, so I decided against packing this one. I wanted to pack one pair of trousers, and these totem ones are honestly perfect for hot weather because they are pretty thin and loose fitting. They can also really easily be dressed up or dressed down, and they're a super versatile piece for traveling. For the first outfit, I wanted to create a more dressed down look, so I styled them with a simple beige singlet and a black short sleeve shirt, the Doc Martens, and also my Le Mer bag. So the last occasion that I need to pack for is fancier dinners and drinks and that kind of thing. We always end up going to a few fancy dinners when we're in Thailand, so I wanted to make sure I had outfits that are ready for this occasion as well. The first outfit I styled the same trousers with was this awesome iris top. It is actually reversible, which I love. So there's a kind of like two outfits in one already. The next outfit, of course, is keeping the trousers the same, but I swapped the top for this black Dion Lee corset. You could definitely just wear the corset on its own, but for dinner, I'd probably style it with a light oversized blazer. It was here that I decided that maybe one more dressier black bag would be worth bringing as I have so far only packed my Mimi bag as the more evening dressy bag option. So I was deciding between these three black bags. I ended up going with the YSL one as the gold detail goes better with my everyday jewelry. This was the final going out style outfit that I created. Lastly, I packed a few different swimsuits for the beach aspect of our trip. Almost all of the swimwear is from Mateo except this bather which is from Sir the Label. And I also packed a few different hat options as well because as we know, I am terrified of getting any sun on my face at all times. I also packed some exercise gear in case the mood strikes which you just never really know and a couple of white and black singlets just because i hope you guys loved this video and i will see you in thailand bye